Hey guys, what's up? This video is going to be how to enter your spots in the marsh when it's wind-based betting. Wind-based betting in my areas are very difficult to hunt because the deer bed with the marsh to their back and they face into the woods and most of the time the wind will be coming to them into their nose. So they have two advantages to betting like this. A sight advantage and a wind advantage so they do this because they know nothing is going to come from the marsh so it's almost bulletproof betting for them so this is how we're going to enter these spots when it's wind based stay tuned here's a good shot of like a, or a example of a marsh type wind based betting uh, the white circles are where the bedding areas would be. One's in a bowl, one's kind of on a point there. And as you can see, the island's off to the north or northwest. Uh, just above them there would be uh, where they would escape to. And, you know, that's why they bed there. They can get out of there quick. So this would be wind-based bedding here. And your entryways would be on the side. Here's the two little islands just off of the transition there. If you can see them at the red circles, they would probably be most likely non-wind based. They would go on there in severe pressure, you know, during gun season and this and that. And uh, real uh, heavy pressure to go out there. And it's tough to get them off there once they're there. So they would probably be non-wind based and... They would probably keep an eye on the mainland and bed on the southwestern sides and southern sides of these islands, but still have the wind coming over their back, but still watching and listening to the mainland. Now, this is why I like this area. I think it's totally overlooked. Um, it, it's probably haunted, but haunted wrongly. Most guys will want it in their face if uh, you see the wind direction there in yellow. Um, it's coming from the southeast or south or even southwest. You could probably hunt this. But whenever you have a northerly wind, northwest, north, northeast, they're probably not going to bed there because they have no advantage. So this is three hunts that you can stack when it's wind-based bedding. All right, guys, here it is. Here's your scenarios. This is, uh, this is your entryways and how I would stack this to hunt it. Say you see a big buck in here, you, you see him crossing the road, or you're seeing him in a crop field somewhere, and you, you have a pretty good idea uh, he's betting in here. He would be betting here on a, any southern wind, uh, southwest too, but it would be really, really sketchy to hunt on southern wind. You'd have to be southern, southeasterly wind, excuse me, coming out of this way. See, north is pretty much north if you have a, a wind coming out of this way whoa sorry about that um it's going to be really tough to to get to that um this here you got to consider the deer sight line where they're they're betting to their backs to to the marsh watching this way uh you got to figure out and you should do your homework in a postseason and see how far they could see out into this woods. Uh, this is just an estimated deer sight line. So most guys are going to park their truck right here. Uh, I think that's a big mistake um, because they can hear you, they, blah, blah, blah. I know they're used to cars, but I try to take every precaution I can into, uh, into hunting. So me, I would really park down on this intersection and... This is my scenario how I would hunt uh, these three spots that would give you three hunts. I would walk across the street, I'd walk a little bit into the woods so nobody's seeing me, and I'd walk up here, and this would be the first night. See, I'm just to the east where that wind is just missing him like so. Uh, if I don't see nothing, uh, the next night I can hunt within a few couple days I'm coming in here and I'm hunting this bedding area you know these bedding areas the deer are going to come out or whatever like so um, hopefully I've killed something by now but even I, I would give it three shots 
uh, even then, I would probably walk in the same way as this one line, but I'd come over here and, and I'm sorry, I would hunt somewhere on this right here somewhere. Uh, and if I did not see anything within three days, I'm out of there. I'm not, I'm not going to touch it. Um, but if, if I do during a day, lunchtime or so, if I come in here and I start seeing hot sign down in here somewhere, uh, along these, these little transitions and all, or whatever they are, or even in the crop fields, but nearby, uh, it's time to hunt this. It's time to hunt it and it's time to stack it. You know, something's in there. So up oh, there it is guys, uh, three days, three hunts. You can spread these hunts ever over, a f you know, a week or so. Uh, I wouldn't spread these three hunts in this scenario too long. I would get right on it if I can. But uh, it, it's very simple. It, it's very simple, simplified. Uh, guys are putting way too much into this stuff. And I did it. I did it for the last couple of years. I, I, I overthank everything. And I'm starting to get into where I'm just simplifying these things and just doing it. So make sure you stay tuned. Uh, there's more videos coming. There's going to be a, uh, two more weeks of hunting left here. Um, I'm actually going to break down and, and break the gun out and uh, see what's going on with that. I haven't had a gun in the woods in over a year or so. And I took it last year once. So guys stay tuned uh thanks for watching again and uh as usual subscribe and like to the buck's sake